Hey Kevin. How many usability consultants does it take to change a light bulb? Nice to see you too James. None, they only make recommendations about how you should change the light bulb. Ha 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 real funny. Lighten up buddy it's just a joke. Yeah I know. So what you up to? Or nothing just taking a break from this big project that I am working on. New project hey? Yes sir way bigger than my last project. Is it only bigger than the last one or also better? What is that supposed to mean? Well you see the last software that your team built had more problems than the world economy right now. Oh please do care to explain Einstein. With pleasure. You see your software was missing any sort of utility tools that would help your users. For example the accounting app didn't even have a simple calculator implemented. We chose to not put one in there Kevin. I'm sure the users got a calculator lying around them somewhere. Okay then how about the effectiveness of your program? I mean if it was a little good at doing what it was supposed to I'm sure our help center wouldn't be flooded with calls 24, 7. We do have a lot more products in the market. Not all calls are relating my work you know. Fair enough. But I am sure most of the calls are made to ask why the file converter won't do its job. That was a small bug fixed ages ago. Well I guess that fix wasn't effective either now was it? Are you done ranting? Oh barely. You see I tried out your applications myself and found that the learning curve on them was so steep that I had a better chance of learning how to surf, skydive and fly a plane before I learned how to operate the application. I hope you are exaggerating. Yes but very little, since the learnability was really that bad. Oh god, why did I even come here in the first place? I don't know but now that you're here let me tell you a thing or two about design principles. I'll save you the lecture Kevin since I already know about them. Oh really? Then how come they were missing in your last project? They were not missing. You probably didn't see them. Exactly. Which brings me to the visibility issue in your software. I mean some buttons and commands were so well hidden that it felt like I was playing Where's Waldo. That issue is not big enough for me to waste my time on Kevin. Well then how about consistency? Why didn't you just waste your time on that? Because every new screen in the applications looked like it was part of a different software. You worry about the small things too much buddy. These things don't matter at all. Well I hope you agree that providing feedback is not a small thing. Yes I agree with that. Well how come your applications never provide the user with any sort of feedback? For example if I closed an application by accident shouldn't it ask me to save it first? How do you even close a window by accident in the first place? I am sorry to inform you that not all humans are cyborgs like yourself James. Too bad. This world would be a lot better if they were. Well thank you for wasting my time Kevin. No problem James. You might want to think about implementing the things I talked about in your new project to maybe get that promotion you have been waiting for. You got it boss. You got any programming tips to go along Mr. Usability Guru? Not really but I did have a question for you. How many programmers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Oh real mature of you Kevin. I'll be leaving now. Only one. But if he's anything like you then this whole building will probably fall down.